Hello successful people, I want to welcome you all to another edition of this Forex Friday where we will train about Forex trading. For those of us who aren't really familiar with Forex trading, um, I teach about Forex on this channel every Friday where you can also earn income right from your home either using your mobile device or using your PC right so today i will yet be teaching out another strategy on forex how you can trade forex successfully okay so today i'll be talking about how you can actually earn daily income trading forex using the um this sma and um the awesome oscillator strategy uh, this strategy has been tested have been proven to work all right uh, it's one of the strategies i also teach also and then I hope that just follow along then I hope that putting this into practice you'll be able to also earn some extra income from it. Okay, if this is your first time on this channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and then the bell icon on that uh, so that you'll be notified when uh, a new video is uploaded. Also, don't forget to like this video, okay, because I'm so sure that you'll learn from it. So, let's go in now. Um, this is my setup, but before I go on, I will remove this and show us how I um, put all that. Okay, so this is my chart. This is my chart. All right. If you are um, new to this, okay, there's a video. I'll put the, the link to the video in the description section below so that you'll be able to see how to actually set up your MT4. Um, mt4 chart or your mt4 app on your mobile device so that you customize it the way you like it and then um, you'll be comfortable with your screen or what you're saying so i prefer mine like this i prefer a white background with um, the blue candles showing blue and then the beer candles showing in color red okay so the link will be in the description section below you can check okay so um so let's go now so the first thing I do is that I click on this. Oh no, no, no. Okay. So the first thing I do is that I click on this uh, indicator. All right. I click on this indicator here. <laughs> okay yeah so i click on this indicator icon here so you see this f up here so i click on it all right so it brings me here so i see a list of all my indicators and then i select the um moving average so can you see the moving average there all right so that's what i want to actually work with all right I select moving average so this shows right usually in default setting this is what you see but uh, we change it so for the period can you see the period there for the period I choose 10 I choose 50 all right shift you leave it at zero method you leave it as simple so we are using a simple moving average 50 apply to close all right so we leave it at close okay for the style this is a two pixel so uh you can leave it that way you can choose however you think you want it to be but two is okay for me then for the color because i already have a color red on the chart so i would like to choose something else so maybe i use black all right okay so i leave it that way and then i click on done so the moving average simple moving average 50 has been applied to my chart now all right so as a confirmation as a confirmation i go over here again and then i click on um i click on this f plus that you can see here to add another indicator all right so i click on this and then i scroll down to where awesome oscillator is so i want to believe you can see awesome oscillator here 
okay so i click on it i click on it and then it opens this up for me so in default this is what you probably see but i just want it to be brighter all right so i change this color to uh, a lighter green then the value down i can leave it at red pixel i like it too two pixel okay both is already in two all right and then i click on done okay so these are just being applied to my chart also so i believe you can see this so this is just a simple setup someone will say that oh it's looking too simple um you should use something else personally i like to use um very simple um i i don't want my chart to be too rowdy all right uh, except of course you're trading with indicators like ichimoku okay in my last video i talked about ichimoku how to also follow the trend and trade positively using the ichimoku so you can check all right and then um watch that also if you want to learn that strategy okay but this i just want something simple and yet i'll be profitable trading with it all right so um so what you're going to do next is that let's watch out so for example let's see a typical um buy trade uh let's enter let's see how a typical buy trade works all right so what we look out for is for example in this setup here okay so we look out for a kind uh, if you can see this sma line you see it's crossing upward from above to beneath and then the candle is moving from below the sma line above is moving above the sma line so forming an uptrend all right so this is forming an uptrend so we see that whenever the candle is coming from below the sma line and going upward and an uptrend is forming on this particular time frame note that i'm on the five minutes time frame all right and i'm using the euro usd chart for this um lecture or this training so an uptrend is forming so what do i watch out for i watch out for the candle the particular candle that is actually crossing the sma line so as you can see here you see that this candle is a candle that crosses the sma line from below upward so i hope you can see that particular candle so what happens is that i wait for the candle to actually a candle that opens below the sma line and then closes above the sma line so once that typical setup happens that a candle closes below the sma line all right and then opens above the sma line so once that happens okay what i do is that i enter a buy trade as soon as a new candle is formed above the sma line so so at this point here okay at this point here i enter a buy trade okay and then i put my stop loss all right under what i do typically so that i minimize my losses in case is that i count three candles backwards so the one that the week is the lowest that's where i put my stop loss so if you count one two three so you put your stop loss here so you put your stop loss here all right so as soon as you put your stop loss there okay what you do next is that you follow the trend you follow the trend okay you follow the trend upward okay so we we'll notice that the um sorry for that so we we'll notice that the the price action will actually be having its way what do i mean you can see that it's going this way it came back to retest the sme line and then it's going back upward again so it will continue to have its way but our uh, in haul you discover that it still continues to go in that upward direction okay so uh, you continue to follow it 
and follow it until you discover that a candle also you discover that a candle also breaks the SMA line downward. So when the candle breaks the SMA line downward, what you do is you stop the trade. Okay? You stop the trade and then you enter another trade for sale. Alright? But before you enter another trade for sale, this is why we have our awesome oscillator. You have it here for confirmation. Now let me go back to where I entered the buy trade. You notice that at the same time when I entered the buy trade here, okay? At that same time, the awesome oscillator also crosses from below upward. So can you notice that? Did you see that? So at that same time, uh, uh, um, the candlestick is going above the SMA line. The awesome oscillator too is going above the, the zero level. And then the green bar of the awesome oscillator is showing. And then it's getting more pronounced. All right. So you follow suit that way. And then um, you continue to follow the trend. You follow the trend. You continue to follow the trend. You're cashing in your profit until a typical setup like this, all right, where you notice here too, okay, there's a switch. So what do you do? You uh, stop the trade, all right, and then you can actually enter a sell trade also, okay? So that is a typical setup of a buy trade, all right? That is a typical setup of a buy trade if we check what we have there okay we discover that from here you enter a trade here and then and then you exit the trade at this point all right so that is a banking in profit and this particular setup actually happened in just a day it happened in just a day all right so another Thing to watch out for let's look for a typical sell uh, trade all right a typical sell setup so you look at this like I said before there's always a retail so you see this candle this candle here at this point crossed okay crossed can you see that all right so it crossed so you open it here, you open a sell trade here, alright, a sell trade, and then count three candles backward. You count one, two, three. So you put your stop loss here. Put your stop loss here. Like I said in the other demonstration, you can see that the price action actually happened. It came down, it went back to retest, and it came down again, alright. So, if you can see the movement, it came down, went back to, to retest, and then came down again. Reason we counted three candles back for you see that when it went back to retest, it did not touch our stop loss. Without it, our stop loss, then we will have uh, taken that loss there. But you see that it did not hit our stop loss, and then yet it went on and on in our trend that um, we have um, actually set it up to go along because uh, these two indicator combinations actually work. They work perfectly well. Alright? 80% uh, of the time you are in profit. Okay? So, um, you can follow on the trend. You follow and follow and follow. If you look at it, you see that it's a huge uh, profit there. And then, as soon as... Sorry for that. Okay. So, as soon as you discover that the candle have come back to cross this line, you exit the trade. So at that point where that happened here, you discover that the awesome oscillator has actually crossed also from downward upward. Okay, so this is not a simple typical setup of how you can enter either a buy or sell trade. We have to put your stop loss, okay, and then you trail the profit until it comes back to eat or cross 
the um, SME line. All right. So uh, this is a typical setup that works, and it works so well. It works so well. I've tested it. I've tested it on Euro USD. Okay. You can test it on other currency pairs also, and then other time frames. So uh, test it out. Let me know what you think. Okay. Drop it in the description section below. Let me know what you think. Okay. So I'll be waiting to hear back from you. I wish us all successful trading, successful trading every day, every day. Remember the forex market opens Monday to Friday. Okay. And then something very important that you must uh, take note of while trading is that trading requires a lot of patience. You need a lot of patience when you are trading. You need to be very, very patient. If you are not patient, you will lose. You will lose your money. So you need to be patient, all right? You need to be patient. And then number two, you need to be disciplined. You need to be disciplined. Be disciplined with your strategy, okay? Especially when you are trading with your life money. And then don't be in a hurry don't be in a hurry this still keeps us about the patience that i said before okay remember you are not the uh, market maker okay so don't try to earn all the cash in a day earn your own have a daily target earn whatever target and eat your target and then leave to come back another day if you're greedy about the market you end up losing all your money all right so um i hope you've learned something today uh, don't forget give this video a thumbs up all right uh hit on the subscribe button and the uh bell icon beside this so you'll be notified when next i upload a new video every friday like this i upload new videos on forex trading and forex strategy and then what to watch out for okay so um thank you for your time see you next time on forex friday regards my name is tolu check my description uh section below i have a link to a broker that um, I will recommend for you to use. I use Forex Time also. So uh, check my description section below. You can uh, use them. Or better still, watch out. You can actually look out for other brokers that you know that, okay, their spreads are very okay. Their spreads are uh, very okay for you. You are okay. Their spreads are not so much. Okay? And then um, it's a broker that you can actually withdraw your money. There are some calm brokers out there that deposit. You can deposit, but you can't withdraw from them. Okay? So thank you for your time. Regards. See you next Friday. Bye.